just when you thought you'd chosen your next car. Meet the Kia Stonic Sport with SUV ride height and sweet 17-inch alloy wheels. From just 28190 drive away. Your move. For Harvey Norman, your computer specialist. Geelong's most trusted news, Bay 93.9. Hello, it's Rob McLennan with your latest news update. Polling booths are open and voting is now well underway in today's referendum to decide whether Australia wants an Indigenous voice to Parliament. Alana Riley reports. Aussies are being asked to vote today, yes or no, on whether to change the constitution to allow a panel of Indigenous people to consult governing authorities about future laws and policies affecting them. A record number of Aussies are enrolled to vote in this referendum, more than 17 and a half million. Booths across the country will be open from 8 to 6 p.m. and a democracy sausage will likely be available at some of the locations. Counting will begin shortly after polls close with a result expected within a few hours. Geelong star Patrick Dangerfield has made a last-minute foray into the referendum debate, telling his social media followers it's time for a change. He's posted video of himself writing yes on a ballot paper, joining Collingwood skipper Darcy Moore, who's also declared his support for that Indigenous voice to federal parliament. The first Qantas flight taking Australians trapped in the Middle East war zone to safety has landed in London. The plane's crew all volunteered for the mission. There'll be at least one more flight tomorrow. There's four all up. Meantime, Israel's deadline for civilians to leave Gaza before it launches a full ground assault is ticking down. Lieutenant Colonel Jonathan Conricus saying they'll do what they can to protect the innocent. The IDF will continue to operate with significant significant force in Gaza City and will make extensive efforts to avoid harming civilians. Victoria's teacher shortage has gotten so bad, some classes are being run without teachers at all, according to a survey by the Education Union. A man's body has been discovered in a car at Rippleside during the night. He was found by a passerby in Bay Street around 10pm. Police are not treating it as suspicious. Anyone who's finding life a bit of a struggle is encouraged to free call lifeline on 13 11 14 and the gates for the latest a day on the green concert here in geelong will open this afternoon the chicks performing tonight at mount Dunedin state it's their first aussie tour in six years Awaken your senses. The all-new MG5. National soccer team. The Socceroos has lost its friendly against England at Wembley this morning. Our time. Every seat in the famous stadium was sold, with plenty of expats turning out to see the green and gold go down 1 0. Australia's in all sorts of trouble at the one day World Cup in India after losing their first two matches. They're getting ready to come up against Sri Lanka on Monday. Aussie rider Jack Miller's finished ninth fastest as he gets ready for this weekend's Indonesian Motorcycle Grand Prix. And the Cats have re-signed forward Tom Hawkins for one more year. Update your home with a new floor from Harvey Norman. Great deals on versatile hybrid flooring, including beautiful Australian timber, pine and oak designs from just $45 per square metre. Luxurious oak natural timber flooring from only $85 per square metre. Or family-friendly carpets. Soft, quiet and warm underfoot. Great value from just $17 per square metre. From measure and quote to expert installation in your home. Come on in and see the specialists at Harvey Norman. Your locally owned and operated Harvey Norman, Carayo and Warren Ponds. Bellarine Springs Retirement Community Village Open Day, Saturday 21st, Central Road, Drysdale. One or two showers on the way today and a top of 18 here in Geelong. Tomorrow, showers at 16.